Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the lovely cowl. I wanted to show you the whole set. This is the hat and I can link the tutorial for that. We are making the cowl today and then I am going to do a fingerless gloves um, tutorial soon, probably later today, uh, and then edit it. So we're going to be working on the cowl this is in the Premier Sweet Roll Vivid. This is the color Glowworm. Um, I am going to not be using Glowworm in the tutorial because I don't have any more. <laughs> I had two of those cakes and I used it all on the hat, the cowl, and the mitts. So today I will be using, this is Premier in the bobbin. This is the color Peachy Keen. I still have the bobbin here. Total for the entire thing is 543 yards, 498 meters, 9 ounces, 255 grams. So the 181 yards is each color in that. So total we have 9 ounces. Uh, sweet rolls were... I have one right here. Sweet rolls are 174 yards each. So each one of the colors in the bobbin is more than one sweet roll because each one of these colors they are each 181 yards so this will be plenty 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 to do another set which i am planning on gifting so um the reason i'm not using the sweet roll vivid and this is the color lava lamp i do believe so I did only purchase two colors. There were only two colors available when I purchased that uh, that order on Premier's Facebook. Uh, and then they were released the next day. So I got the two colors that were available on Facebook before it was available on their website. And Lava Lamp and Glowworm were the only two, which I think it is super gorgeous. Uh, however, the gift that I want to make, this suits the person more. So that's why I'm making it with the uh, Peachy Keen. So I am going to show you how to do the, the cowl in this tutorial. And then I will probably do the fingerless gloves in the same yarn. Uh, and I color change in those. So this, this will give you some indication on how to color change if you're going to do striped fingerless gloves and also on the cowl because I have to switch colors to get all three in there. So let's get started on the cowl tutorial. Okay so we are doing foundation double crochet and we're doing 62 of those. So start with a slip knot and then we need to chain two. Now this is not a stitch, this is a setup. So we are going to start foundation double crochet. If you've never done that, it's not that hard. You just follow the steps and you'll get the hang of it. So we yarn over, we go into the first chain that we made. We yarn over, we pull up a loop. Okay, we got three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and we're going to pull through one of those. Okay, now we're going to finish it like a double crochet. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, so each stitch now will be the same. We yarn over, we turn our work a little bit, we find the V that we made, and we go through both of those. Then we yarn over, pull up another loop, three loops on our hook. I put my finger here. And I yarn over and I pull through that one. Okay, we're going to go into this for our next stitch. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into that V that your 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 fingers, your hand was just on. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through one. And then I put my fingers on that to remind myself that's what I'm going into. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through that 
V right there that we just made. Sorry, this yarn gets a tad bit splitty when doing this. Yarn over, go through that one. I put my finger on that. I yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And we're just going to repeat that for 62. And I'll show you how you count those. So you don't count the chain two that you started with, but you do count every stitch that you made there on from the chain two. Okay, so as you're working, it looks like you're working to the sky. But that's just how this stitch is done. This is your chain two. So you will count one, two, three, four, five. So once you get to 62, meet back up with me. The 62 will actually fit a 22 inch head and more because we are going over the head to our neck. And this is, well, let me measure the one that I got and then then we'll have a better idea of how many inches. Okay, it. so my cowl is without it being stretched at all. Circumference, circumference wise, we're looking at about 22 inches. However, with the way that I designed the top and the bottom of the cowl, this will stretch much, much further. I want to say probably to 25 inches. So let me open up my tape measure a little more so I can take a look at how far it will go. Oh yeah. You're looking at 26, 27 inches. So this will go around somebody's head, pretty much anybody. And then of course it cinches back in because of the ribbing. So it this will fit any, any adult whatsoever that you make this for. If you want to make a smaller one, go ahead and do less of a foundation row. Also, if you do not like the foundation double crochet, go ahead and chain. And then your first row that you will do, your first round that you will do, will be all double crochets. Okay, so let me readjust my camera. All right, so I do have a different setup for my camera now. So I am learning how to work around it instead of the way I used to do it. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with some foundation double crochets so that you can watch. And then I will meet up with you when I have my 62. All right, so I have my foundation double crochet. Um, I have it at 62. So I am going to join in the round. What I do when I join in the round is I look at the work like this and then I slip stitch to not this chain two, but your first uh, foundation double crochet. Just slip stitch to that. Okay, so now we're going to, we can, we can put this together later. You can do it now if you want. I'm going to wait 
chain two, and this is not a stitch. We are going to front post and back post double crochet now. So front post double crochet, we yarn over, we put our hook in like this through the back, and then we yarn over again and pull that yarn through. See how we're going around the post instead of up here where we usually would go? You just finish off by doing a normal double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. The next one will be a back post double crochet. So yarn over if it helps you to hold the yarn here and then turn your work a bit so you can see what you're doing. You're putting your hook through this way like that. Yarn over, pull that through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's a back post. Then we're gonna alternate to front again. And then to back. We're gonna do that all the way around. So I will meet up with you once I get to the end of this round. Okay, so I am at the end of my round. You will always end on a back post double crochet, just so that you remember that. Do not post in, uh, do not do any post stitches around the chain twos. So for this round, um, I'm going to do one more of the ribbing. You can do as many as you would like. Uh, slip stitch into your beginning front post, top of your front post double crochet. I will measure my cowl really quick and see the length on it as far as uh, how far it goes up. Uh, we know how, how it is around, but we need to know how tall you want to make yours. So mine is six inches and it depends on how you want it to be on you if you want it longer go ahead uh i would do more of the front post back post rounds um but uh it's up to you this is uh kind of the perfect length uh, that's why i had it on my mannequin to show you it's the perfect length from uh depending on how long your neck is this will at least cover your mouth um, like a standard size neck, I guess. So it's up to you and how much yarn you have to spare. I, I mean, I could probably go longer on this one. Um, I am going to make a hat and I am going to do the fingerless gloves. We have 181 for each and that is, that is triple what I had. So maybe I will go larger. Maybe I'll go longer on this one. Maybe I'll do four of the rib rows, four or five, possibly. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do four or five of them. And then, and then mine will be longer from neck to uh, the top of your neck or ear area. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing the front post and back post rounds. And I will meet up with you. Uh, when I am done with mine. Remember to always chain two at the beginning of your round. Then you will yarn over and do front post and front post double crochets. And you will do back post and back post double crochets all the way around each round that you do it. So I am going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and say five of the front post, back post double crochet rounds. So that will be total rounds. So I did one and now this is my second, so I'll do three, four, and five, and I'll meet up with you when I am done. All right, so I am to the end of my five rounds 
of the ribbon ribbing and I am going to I'm gonna change color I think um, I think I'm gonna do the middle section with the the combination color with this and then do do the end ribbing with the peach color the single peach color I think that will work out well so I'm going to go ahead and switch colors to the combination of the peach and the gray. So let me show you how I do that. It's not much different than any other project. So I am going to slip stitch into this first front post double crochet, but I am going to use this color to slip stitch with. Just like that and now we're gonna start the the lovely stitch which is a single crochet V stitch and I am going to chain one here and then I'm going to put a single crochet in that same space and chain two and then do another single crochet in the same space so that is our first V stitch. I am going to mark that with a stitch marker. You don't have to, but I am going to because I am going to move that up as I work on my project. This is a stitch marker I made in a video and I can share that in a link below in the description. Get in the center here. Okay, so on on this project, we are going to skip the back post, double crochet, and we're going to put a V-stitch in each of the front post double crochets. So wherever you see a front post double crochet, we're gonna put a V-stitch there. So we're gonna do single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And every front post double crochet stitch. And we're just skipping the back ones. Very easy. So continue to do this all the way around. When we get to the end of this round, I'll show you how to start the next round. And then you will repeat these rounds for as long as you want the body of your cowl. So I'll meet up with you in just a moment when I get to the end here. All right, so I'm to the end of my first round. To do each round after this, remove your stitch marker. And in that first V stitch, go ahead and do a V stitch. And then move your stitch marker up. So you're not necessarily joining in the round, but you are marking where you start so that you know where the end of your round is. And then in each previous V-stitch, put a V-stitch. And do that for the entirety of the body of your cowl and when you are ready come back and we will continue on to the other the other side of the cowl's edging so i'm going to work on mine um not sure how many rounds i'm going to do but i will meet back up with you once i get my rounds done so just keep working on yours i'll keep working on mine and i'll meet you in a minute Okay, so I have about six inches done on my cowl from the beginning to where I'm at. I'm going to start my uh, ribbing, the ending of the cowl. So I am going to, I took the stitch marker out. I'm going to slip stitch into this first single crochet of this V stitch where my stitch marker was. I'm going to slip stitch right here into the single crochet. So I'm going to slip stitch with my new color, which is the peach color for me.
See the tail there, so I can weave in that end. Okay, now I'm going to chain two. And then I am going to put a half double crochet in the other single crochet of that V-stitch. And in every V-stitch all the way around, we're going to put a half double crochet. So see how there's a single crochet, chain, chain, single crochet? We're going to put the half double crochets in the single crochets of the previous round. We're not chaining, we're just doing half double crochets. And that is going to, excuse my clock, Okay, <laughs> it is two o'clock here, so you get to hear the bird. Um, so this is going to decrease. It's gonna bring us in, straighten us out, and it is going to set us up for our last ribbing rounds. So we're just doing a half double crochet in each single crochet. Nothing difficult about that, just different than what we've been doing. So I will meet up with you in just a second so that I can show you what we need to do to finish out this cowl. Okay, so we're at the end of the round. We need to continue on. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two that we made for our first half double crochet. And we are going to chain two and then put a front post double crochet around this stitch. And then I am going to mark that stitch even though I really don't need to. I'm gonna mark that stitch just to help me remember that's where I'm starting next time around. And then we're going to continue on by doing back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet. And we're going to alternate just like we did at the beginning of the cowl. So I'm going to meet back up with you at the end of this round and I will show you what to do to continue. Although you probably already know, but I will meet back up with you in just a minute here. Okay. All right. I'm to the end of the round. I do have one more left. So I'm going to back post double crochet around it. And then the only thing left is the chain two from the beginning of last round. And we are going to skip that. And we are going to skip this round's chain two. And we are going to put our new stitch in this post. So slip stitch to the top of the chain two. Not a stitch. We're gonna chain two. And then we're going to do our front post double crochet. And that's how you're going to do each round every single time you come around to it until you're done with your ribbing and you have the measurement that you would like for your cowl. I will meet back up with you once I get four rounds of the ribbing done because I started with my foundation double crochet and then I did four rounds of the ribbing. So I'm going to do the same on this end and uh, I had my half double crochet round, and then I'm going to do four rounds of the ribbing. So I'll meet back up with you when I am finished with my ribbing. Okay, I'm at the end of my last round. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two to finish. And pull that yarn through. And then I'm going to measure it because I know that it is longer than the one that I made in the the Premier Sweet Roll Vivid. So I'm going to measure this one. Eight inches. So my Premier Sweet Roll Vivid one is only six inches. So. It is definitely larger, which is great because uh, you get more yarn in the bobbin. 
so I, I want to use it up. So I'm, I'm happy that I did it that way. So I have two inches here, four inches here, and then two inches at the other band. So I'm going to weave in my ends because I have to, that's required. And, <laughs> and then I will show you what it looks like on my mannequin head. I'm going to felt the ends after weaving them in. Uh, this helps them to stay in and it doesn't matter what yarn you yarn you're using. Uh, it just helps to keep the ends tacked down. So you can pick that up at Hobby Lobby. I was told that it is actually cheaper than $4.49. So that's cool. And you just take the needle, put the uh, styrofoam block underneath of it, and then you poke into where your ends are. Or if you know where you ran the yarn, you can poke down there as well. Just make sure you're not poking your own finger because that would hurt a lot. And this slightly felts it, it attaches it to the other fibers that it's around and then your end doesn't come out as easy. Especially if you're gifting this, it's a great idea. Or if you sell your items, this is also a great idea. That's what I used to do uh, with my projects that I used to sell. I would felt the ends so that the customer had zero problems with the product when they washed it. So then you just snip your ends off. See how that's not pulling out? It's stuck. So just snip the ends off as close as you possibly can without cutting your project. And the other awesome thing about this uh, stitch is that it's reversible. So while I just did the ends, uh, this could you could wear it. Like it does not matter which side you're looking at, it's completely reversible because the front and back post double crochets are reversible, so is the lovely stitch. So it, it looks the same on both sides. So it does not matter which side is out, they're both right. And I always feel like I am, um, I, I feel like I didn't complete my project when I don't weave my ends in. Um, I'm gifting this, but even with my own stuff, if I'm going to wear it, I weave the ends in. Um, I just feel like I'm not done unless I do. It's kind of like um, growing up, do your chores before you can have fun. <laughs> At least that's what I was taught. So that that's another thing about the ends being weaved in. I know it's a big, like, do you or don't you? Um, for the most part, I think everybody does. But uh, I just, I feel... I personally, and I'm not saying anything about anyone else, I feel like I'm lazy and I didn't complete my project unless I did. So anyway, uh, that aside, this cowl is eight inches long. It's two inches longer than the Sweet Roll Vivid in the color Glow Worm. So let me slip this on my mannequin head so that you can take a look at it. Mannequin head is right in front of me on my desk. Oh yeah, this goes straight over the nose as well. So let me show you. Let me pull my camera up here. So that is quite larger than the other one that I made with the sweet roll. So this one's six inches, and I do believe that it went right up over the mouth. This one goes up over the nose. So this is a really good length. Eight inches of eight inches is a really good length. Very nice. I like that a lot. I think that will be very good for gifting. So I'm going to make the hat that matches this. I already have the hat tutorial out, so I will link that below. I'm going to make the fingerless mitts as well and I need to do a tutorial for those. So 
I will be doing the tutorial for the fingerless gloves tomorrow and then I will have to edit that so you'll you'll definitely see this video first because I need to edit this and then put this one up but these are the fingerless mitts and they're uh, short because um, I ran out of yarn and I used black I don't know what yarn that was because there was no label on it but I will show you how to make them longer and they are reversible as well so you can wear them on either hand does not matter either or so there's no left there's no right there's just two so stay tuned for the fingerless gloves tutorial um and i like i said i will link the hat below i also have a triangular shawl in the stitch and i will link that below i also have a dish cloth spa cloth washcloth in that so I will link that below as well um also i'm not sure i will have to check let me check about premieres bobbins okay so premier bobbins are 7.49 each so they are in their weekly deals section on their website and they do have peachy keen so if you want to pick up this colorway that i made this in they do have it they're 749 and like i said you can make the whole entire set out of just one bobbin so a hat a larger cowl and the fingerless glove set uh, that's 749 for an entire set which is a great deal um, I did purchase two of the Premier Sweet Roll Vivid, and I got that same set out of these as well. Those are one seventy-four each, one seventy-four, and I used two complete cakes. So, uh, how much are they for price? Let me look. It is now three o'clock. The uh, Premier Suite Roll Vivid, they are $5.99 each. So um, go take a look. Um, choose whatever yarn that you want to use, of course. But uh, that's what I have done this in thus far. I do have the hat that I made out of Premier Chunky, which worked up really, really fast. So you can make a cowl, you can make a hat, and you can probably make fingerless gloves out of one of those because there's a lot of yardage in those uh, blooms that are the big, the big balls of the bloom. What is that? Blue bell. The color blue bell is what I made that in. So, uh, yeah, go use whatever yarn you have up. Make yourself a cowl. Make it for someone you know. Make it as a gift. Make it make it for donation it's up to you but enjoy your makes and until next time guys i appreciate you watching i appreciate all of you every every single one of you even if you're not subscribed i appreciate you for watching so until next time guys bye